couple weeks later, we got the call that Eminem did a version. And he so graciously allowed us to be on it. So shout out to that. But uh, yeah, that's my version of One Day at a Time. Now this beat gonna sound familiar. This beat gonna sound familiar. Tell me where this beat come from. Yeah, are you still there? This song is called Tongue Kissing. This is a record Pac did before John B came into the studio. So he had this beat. Him and John, Johnny J had already had the beat. And then he did this song called Tongue Kissing. And then when John B reached out, I said, ah, I got one for John B. And then they did it over. They did a whole new version. Who want to hear the first stand at the word through my review? Not the one that y'all heard. The one with just pop. I told you I'm only playing real shit. I'm not playing nothing you heard a thousand times. So don't look. If you looking for that? Maybe another day. Drop lines. I had to switch this up. We celebrating tonight, y'all. It's Pop Day. Hope y'all got y'all here. Listen to the words on this right here. This is called. Did this at Johnny J's house. Big Hearn, what up? What up, my brother? I see I'm gonna be sharing little stories and shit, but it's all around music. We only talking about music tonight. Keep listening. One time for the goat. Happy Pop Day. My mind is gone. Oh. 
This next shit I'm gonna play, y'all heard this before. This next joint I'm gonna play. It's off that Still I Rise album. We sipping Henny's, man. We sipping on Henny tonight, man. We taking it back to 96. I only drink Hennessy one time a year. Well, two times, two times. Two times if I gotta be honest. Two times. Hold on, before I play this song, man, I want to tell y'all a little story about Ted Drops of Close Caskets. It'll always be one of my favorite songs of all times. Rest in peace to Nate Dogg, the greatest hook singer of all times as far as hip-hop is concerned, in my opinion. One time for Nate Dogg right now. But let me tell y'all how this song came together. Pac always wanted us to rap together as a group, including him. He would always be on us like, yo, man, we got to do this shit together as a group, man. We got to do it like one DMC. This nigga say one line, this nigga come in with another line. He wanted us to be cohesive like a group. <sighs> Every time we go to the studio, everybody would just go in they, you know, their little section and get the writing. And he hated that. He looked at us, you know, like we were separate. We wasn't a group together. So his way of teaching us was to just go ahead and show us. Instead of doing all this talking He realized that only got so far with us So he was like Let me show y'all how to do it And many songs came out like that So we go in the studio one day He like yo we gonna write this song together This guy brought us all in the mic booth Sat us all down in the circle The beat started playing And he was like yo We just gonna tell a story on this one I'm gonna kick it off just started writing. Everybody just started writing their lines here and there. And we just put together this story by Lil Trigger, Mo, Precious, all names we just came up with on the spot. But it turned into teardrops of closed caskets. And by the end, by the, by the time the song was over, Nate Dogg just happened to be walking down the hallway in can -Am, as cool as he always is. Anybody who know Nate Dogg know how he stroll. He just strolled past and Pop was like, go grab Nate, go grab Nate. Play Nate the song. I don't know what they started talking about in the corner, but Nate went in the, in, in, in the mic booth and he just got out. Classic, classic record. You know, the, the hook is from LTD. Jeffrey Osborne, to be exact. Classic record, go look it up. Ted drops the close castings, man, we celebrate. Just another wild ass nigga. We call him Lil Mo. 